family, my name is Paul Pard, and I'm the lead pastor at a church called Free Life Community Church, a new church that's going to be serving the community of Westminster in 2021. Tonight, I wanted to invite you guys to a time of worship and prayer led by some of my friends. You know, Revelation 7 says this, After this, I looked and behold, a great multitude that no one could number from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And so we wanted to represent what it means to be united in the body of Christ through time of worship and prayer, led by brothers and sisters from all backgrounds, ethnicities, cultures, traditions, and even languages. So family, tonight, join me. Don't just watch and listen to the worship, but worship with me. Don't just listen to the prayers, but pray with me. And let's continue to build and serve the kingdom of God by worshiping together. God bless. I was buried beneath my shame Who could carry that kind of weight It was my tomb Till I met you I was breathing but not alive My failures I tried to hide It was my tomb Till I met you And you called my name And I ran out of that grave Out of the darkness Into your glorious day Hold my name
So for me, worship is all about participation. Whenever I think of worship, I think of the word amateur, the word ama in Latin, or if you're Latino and you speak Spanish, ama means love. And amateur literally means for the love of doing it. So when I think about worship, I think about connection, I think about love, I think about community, I think about participation. I think less about professionalism. Though God wants excellence from us, I think what he wants more is love. Paul reminds us that if we have not love, we're like a banging gong. So when I think of worship, what I think of is love, participation, community. What does it look like to worship together, to participate in what God's doing? Not to watch or spectate, but to be part of the work of God on earth as it is in heaven. That's what I think of when I think of worship. Let me pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to worship, to praise. God, we participate with what you're doing on earth, that it would come and happen as it does in heaven. Jesus taught us to pray this way. Lord, you taught us to live this way. Holy Spirit, you empower us to worship this way. So when we worship, may it be about doing it for the love of. If it's raising our hands, if it's falling to our knees, whatever we do, may we do it united together by one spirit, in spirit and in truth. As Jesus taught us that true worshipers worship God in spirit and in truth. If we do it in love, in Jesus' name. Our Heavenly Father, we lift up and glorify your name. You are a holy and wonderful, loving God. And today, we come to you to praise and glorify your name because you are loving and also caring. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Heavenly Father, we praise you for who you are, Lord. You're God of gods, you're King of kings. Lord Father, it doesn't matter what's going on around us, God. You are still on the throne. And you're still God who is both great and near and dear to us, Lord God. So for that, we praise you. I give you glory, God. May you always be praised in our midst, in our hearts, in this church, and around the world, Lord Jesus. Will everyone see that you are God? Father, every tongue confess that you are Lord. We pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Gracias, Señor, por este día. Gracias, Señor, de que tú siempre estás con nosotros en los momentos más difíciles de nuestra vida. Gracias, Padre Santo, porque cada vez que nosotros nos sentimos dolidos, Padre, tú siempre estás ahí al rescate, al lado de nosotros, consolándonos. Y te doy muchísimas gracias por todo lo que estás haciendo en las naciones, trayéndonos a todos juntos, Señor. Uh, te amamos, te adoramos, Señor, y te damos toda la honra y la gloria. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. You are here. I worship you. 
A couple things that uh, in my time of meditation that uh, spoke to me is, uh, you know, wisdom is a place of uh, reflection. And um, the Bible tells us in a very popular verse, Proverbs 4, 7, um, <clears throat> that wisdom is the principal thing. Um, therefore, in all you're getting, get understanding. Um, and it, it encourages us to get wisdom. And so the Bible tells us in 2 Chronicles 20, 20, um, encourages us to uh, believe on the Lord and we shall be established, uh, to believe on his prophet, prophet, in his prophets and we shall prosper. And prosperity speaks to a place of victory. And so how many of us know in this year of 2020, uh, we can use some victory, victory over sickness, uh, victory over oppression, and um, that's only gonna come from a place of wisdom. And so uh, I would encourage us, if hindsight is 2020 and we're in the year of 2020, then we should be in the position of reflection, um, looking for wisdom and understanding as we move forward uh, into deliverance and freedom and liberty. And, um, and also I wanna say, you know, 2020, this is the year of leap year. And uh, this is a, some time for the body of believers to you know band together let's move forward in some things let's leap forward uh let's um move swiftly in the things of god as as his prophets would would instruct us as the word of the lord would instruct us and so uh this is wisdom to me and i would encourage you the bible tells us that wisdom dwells with prudence and that prudence is to exercise good judgment to be cautious 
God, we thank you so much for the access to wisdom, Lord God. We know that if we ask for wisdom, that you will freely give it to us. So even right now, God, we just ask that you uh, relinquish your wisdom on us. Lord God, we ask that you give us wisdom in heart to be able to obey your commands. Father, give us wisdom to hold on to the perfect love that you have for us, God, and just continue to fill us up with your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, we love you and we thank you. Amen. Father God, I come to you through prayer. I just want to pray for the wisdom and, and the knowledge for people around the world in this chaotic world we're going through today. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us lack that wisdom of knowing who you really are. You know what I'm saying? I just want to pray for encouragement that people will understand since you put us on a, on a slow hold right now. You know what I mean? So, you know what I'm saying? So we can see the world better than, than what we did before, but we just, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, we had no worries and no cares then, but now that, that everything's slowed down, now we can see the world through your eyes instead of ours, you know what I'm saying? And have that divine intervention come through and help us out to, to go out and do what we need to do as a Christian, you know what I'm saying, as a Jesus follower to, to you know what I'm saying, go witness to these people that, that, that really needs help and hope, you know what I'm saying, and um, bring them to you. Plant that seed, though we can't help everybody, you know what I'm saying, but we can help the name that you give us that we meet, you know what I'm saying, going, moving forward in, in life, you know what I mean? But we need a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge, the strength and the ability, because we are the messenger that you sent us out to, to go do things for. You know what I mean? And we're gonna take initiative to do that, you know what I'm saying? Not because that we want to, it's because that, you know what I'm saying, the world needs you, you know what I'm saying? And we're just follower of Christ and and that's the main point of, of, of being a disciple. You know what I'm saying? So that people can understand that the love that we give to each other will open up a lot of hearts, you know what I'm saying? Because of this racial tension that's going on in the world today, this pandemic or whatever is going on in the world today, really affect a lot of our souls, a lot of our a lot of our people out there, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't gonna look at the world like, okay, this just gonna help a certain ethnic group. We gonna help everybody out, like how you came down and died on the cross for everybody, not just for one race, but the whole entire nation. So if we can understand each other, and if you can give us the ability to, to teach them that, look, just put all this race aside and see what it is, you know what I'm saying, deep down inside the spirit of God, not our own soul, you know what I'm saying, that we go out like the flesh and just think about, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna do this for one person and forget the other. Nah, we do it because we love the world. You know what I'm saying? Like you loved us and died on the cross for us. You know what I'm saying? In Jesus' name. Amen. Gracias, Señor, por esta oportunidad que todos podemos estar unidos. Te pido que nos des paciencia y sabiduría para poder sobrepasar estos momentos difíciles que estamos viviendo en el mundo. Gracias por nunca dejar nuestro lado. En nombre de Dios. Amén. When we talk about lamenting, lamenting is a vital prayer for God's people. It's, it's something that we've used in the Bible to not just uh, petition our needs for God, but to express our grief and our pain. Um, I believe it's, it's another form of compassion. When Jesus saw Lazarus, he, he weeped and he lamented, he mourned. I believe that's something that we're supposed to do, not just for ourselves and for our family, but for the people of God for our brothers and sisters, for people who are struggling around the world, people who are struggling who are our neighbors. And so lamenting is an important thing, just like fasting, just like prayer, but it brings it all together. It allows us to show our heart on display and not just say that we're Christian because we pray or we or we show up or, or, or we sing out loud, but we're able to show our emotion and let people know, hey, I'm here for you. My heart breaks with your heart. I wanna carry that burden with you. And my encouragement is that we would all, at some point in time, give our hearts over to God, remove everything in front of it and expose it fully and lament, pray, mourn, grieve for our brother and sister. Sometimes the power of just being present is the most powerful thing that you can do. Maybe you don't know how to fix a situation. Maybe you don't know how to change an environment or change the heart of a person. But at the very least, you can let them know that, hey, my heart breaks for you, for what you're going through, and it breaks with you. And so my prayer is that God, that you would break our hearts down. Lord, that you would you would allow us uh, to humble ourselves enough, God, to not look for the answers, to not be the people that have all the, um, all the right things to do and we know what to say, but God, that we would just be people that show up, that would be present, 
God, that we allow the Holy Spirit to move through us. And God, that may our tears be the most powerful sermons that we've ever preached. God, may uh, the hugs and just us sitting and holding the hands of our brothers and sisters, God, may that be um, the, the, the best event that we ever throw in our community. God, I pray that we don't just show up physically, but that we show up emotionally for our brother and sister, God. You've given us these things and you didn't hide back what you had for us. And so, God, I pray that we don't hide back what we have for, for our people, for our brothers and sisters, God, for your children, for your sons and your daughters. God, give us a heart that's willing to, to mourn and grieve, God, and lament for them to you. That we, that we pray and, God, that we, that we jump in between, um, God, the, the hurt and the suffering that people are going through. And we say that, God, we join them in prayer. God, that we mourn and we grieve with them. God, I pray that lament wouldn't, lamenting wouldn't be a thing that we just do, but God, it would be a part of us, a part of our process, a part of our worship to you, crying our heart out to you. Jesus, we love you. And we pray all of these things in your name. Father God, that the enemy is going to and fro, seeking whom he can devour, oh God. So God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you just teach us how to praise you, oh God, because I found out that in the book of Chronicles, your word declares that praise confused the enemy. So God, teach us how to praise you more, oh God, so we can confuse the very thing that's trying to afflict us. God, we give you glory, honor, and praise. And we also understand, Father God, that as we're confusing the enemy with our praise, your word declares that when we lift you up, we draw all men. So as we are confusing the enemy, we're also drawing people in, Father God, so they can learn how to praise him just like we are. So God, as we draw them in and as we confuse the enemy, Father God, allow us to worship you. Teach us how to worship you like your word declares. It said, worship you in spirit and in truth. God, you are spirit. So that's how we should be worshiping you, God. And we thank you, oh God, that as we worship, you just begin to consume everything that's inside of us that's not like you. You begin to cover the community. God, cover your people, the church, and the unchurched, oh God. And we just ask in your matchless son name that you do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Heavenly Father, sweet Jesus, I come to you right now, Lord. And I just want to show compassion, Lord, on those that are lost, Heavenly Father. I'm just thankful for the fact that you took me from addiction, from using for so many years, Lord, and you set me free from those things. I pray for those out there that are lost, God, that they will come to you and just know that there is a Father in heaven that loves them and that they would repent and ask for forgiveness as I have so that they can live in eternity with you forever and dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen. You unravel me with the melody you surround me with the song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears are gone I'm no longer a slave to fear oh I am a child I'm no longer a slave to fear Oh, I am a child of God From my mother's womb You have chosen me your love has called my name And I've been born again Into your family Your blood flows through my veins And I'm no longer a slave to fear Oh, I am a child
shall guide. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Oh, I am a child of God. We are people of thanksgiving. We come from all different kind of places and spaces, but we are gathered around one throne. In Revelation chapter seven, we see a picture of heaven, and we see people from every nation, tongue, and tribe gathered around that one throne, and they are saying salvation belongs to our God. They are giving thanksgiving for the salvation that they have. And you know what they have in their hands there? They have palm branches, which are symbols of victory and thanksgiving. And we don't have palm branches today, but we have our hands. And when we raise our hands, it doesn't matter what uh, language we speak, what tribe we're from, we are unified in giving thanksgiving to the one who makes us all one. Let's praise him today. Father, we thank you for the gift of Jesus who unifies us from every nation, tongue, and tribe so that we can offer thanksgiving to the one who sits on the throne and gives us salvation. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for today. Thank you for tomorrow. Thank you for all the blessings you've given us. Thank you for the love that you've shared. Thank you for the sacrifice that you endured. Thank you for what you've done on the cross and the forgiveness of our sins. Lord, we thank you. Father, we just come before you and we thank you for your faithfulness. And as your word declares, we enter your gates with thanksgiving and we come into your courts with praise. There is so much to be thankful for and many times we overlook it. But Father, today we just want to acknowledge all of the goodness that you've shown us. Even in a time of chaos and crisis, may you continue to reveal to us your goodness and your kindness in our society. In Jesus' name, amen.主はあなたに感謝をします。あなたが与えてくれたお達者たちの言語や文化、すべてがあなたからのたまものです。良きたまものはすべてあなたから食います。そして私たちはあなたの前にあなたの子供として一つです。いろいろな文化、言語が今あ
sending us his son. And I believe that now is the perfect opportunity that God has called us to really put our lives down and put others first and put their lives and their needs and love them with everything that we can offer them. And so I invite you for this opportunity to love others and help them during their need in this time. And I invite you in prayer with me. God, may you just open our hearts and give us the compassion that we need for those who need us most during this time in our lives. God, may you just give us the peace, the comfort, and also the heart to love those before ourselves. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Aming amang mapagmahal at walang hanggan, pinupuri ka namin, pinasasalamatan, at itinataas namin ang iyong pangalan. Sapagkat ang iyong pagmamahal ay patuloy na binubusog at mupuno ng kagalakan sa aming mga puso. Kami ay nagdarasal, lumalapit sa iyo, na nawa ang iyong Awa at kabaitan na itumaloy sa amin na iyong mga anak upang kami magsilbing panglaw ng iyong mapagpalang kamay sa buong mundo. Tulungan mo po kami maging mapagmahal, maunawain, mapagbigay, mapagpatawad, at magpakumbaba na katulad mo. Dear God, I just want to come for you today and give thanks to you for waking me up, first of all. And I also want to thank you for the strength to have enough courage to be able to uh, have compassion in the world for people, as far not, not only for the people, but as far as for those that have hurt me and damaged me. Lord, I just thank you for every blessing in my life. I thank you for every day that you give me a day of chances. I thank you uh, for the love that you put on my heart and, and the compassion that you showed me that I can show to others. And um, it's because of you that all things are possible. Um, I'm forever grateful. So supplication at the very, very smallest definition is making your request known to God. Um, and it comes from a space of humility. It's recognizing how grand, how big, how awesome God is and really understanding our location to him. Um, and so this comes from a reverent spirit, um, a humble place, knowing that God has the ability to do abundantly more than what we do. Um, and so we really rest in the space of smallness when it comes to presenting our petitions to the Lord. Um, and so supplication really takes us from self-centeredness to other-centeredness. And um, it provides a space for us to really get to know our neighbor on a deep and intimate level because they are just as small as we are when it comes to how grand God is. And supplication presents us the opportunity to be for them as well. Um, and so I'd like to pray really quick about just that, presenting ourselves to the Lord. And so, Lord, we thank you for recognizing how small we are. Um, we thank you for giving us the space to understand that you are mighty and grand. Um, we offer ourselves to you. We offer our neighbor to you as an act of sacrifice um, and as an act of unity, knowing that you unify the body. Um, from the toe to the head, we are one. And so we do that on behalf of our people. And um, we love you and we thank you in your name. Amen. Father God, we are here because of you and what you've done in our hearts and what you've done in our lives, God. And so we pray that you would um, reveal yourself to us. Hide not your face, God. We pray that you would speak to us, drown out all the distractions, God, and overwhelm us with your voice and your love and your heart, God, so that we know without a shot, beyond the shadow of a doubt what your heart is and what you want us to do, God. So speak to us now. In Jesus' name, amen. Unite everybody. Unite us, brothers and sisters in Christ and non-believers. Come before you on our knees. 
This is one of the toughest times in the history of the world. We look to you as our guidance, as our savior. This world means nothing. All this money, all this fleshly desires, it means nothing. It's all about you, Jesus. We need you now. We need you now, Lord. And you will never, ever fail us. You will never disappoint us. Fill us, guide us, Holy Spirit. Teach us all what we need to know, what we need to learn. Help us become closer to Jesus, to unite together. Jesus, this is the beginning, just the beginning. And I know you are with everyone, every believer. You are in their hearts and non-believers. You will come and touch them. You will fill them. You will make your presence known. We can see you coming, Jesus. Not, it's not too soon. Not. We can see you coming in our lifetimes. There is such divisiveness. Let it go away. Let the racism go away. Let the fear. God, you did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and faith and love. Let us believe that. Fill our hearts and minds and souls. I pray this all in your name, Jesus. Amen. Kính lại Đức Chúa Tài Năng, con xin cảm ơn tấm lòng trọng đại của Chúa. Thánh thần thanh linh của Chúa Con cảm ơn Chúa về những điều Mảnh đại mà Chúa đã ban tới uh, Cuộc sống của tụi con Cảm ơn lòng của Chúa đã dẫn dắt Bà con bạn bè đến với tụi con Và con xin ước mong Những cầu nguyện này trên tên Thần linh của con Chúa Giêsu Amen
sing together. You hear one in song. Jesus, when you're drawn by our uniqueness, different strings, different bodies, different languages, different shades, but somehow when he is the conductor, we are still symphonies. When our ethnicity becomes a stained glass through which we see Christ through, I promise you, the light that shines in it is more beautiful that way. The gospel has always called us to oneness, but not sameness. Without the gospel, without unity, churches become cubicles. Did he not say that if we lift him, he will draw all men unto himself? How else can we ever live a free life without him and the gospel together? What if what the world needs to see? us together, living together, praying together, serving together as a way to do worship together. Swing wide all you heavens, let the praise go up as the walls come down all creation everything with breath repeat the sound all the children clean hands pure hearts good grace good god his name is jesus Salvation is in His blood.